So the one thing we find all annoying is the manufacturing process when it comes to a streetwear brand. Kiddo has made it easy with print on demand services integrated within their design features, which not only make it easy for you guys to get samples and start your brand, but also make it a lot easier to just get ideas out. But let's get straight into it and design with Kiddo today. So the first thing we're gonna do is start a new project. So once you open the Kittle page, you get this new POD preset, which makes it really easy for you guys to start your growing brand. Today, we're gonna to be using the T Public preset. Just go ahead and just open that. And you can adjust this if you really want to, but we're gonna go with the respected size because it's made for their manufacturing process. Now I've been really into this whole vintage sort of aesthetic and it just, I guess, adds an element or character towards your brand. I did work on this client project a while back and it's gonna be served as an inspiration for the rest of this project. Now, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is add some text. We all know that adding text is the best thing to do. So you can go ahead and just open this little convenient tools panel to the left and find ourselves a nice blocky serif font that sort of matches the aesthetic of the whole high school or varsity T sort of graphic trucked, trucked? I can't pronounce fonts, but this is going to be the one we're going to go with. Next, we're going to start by implementing some elements. Now, we want to go with badges because the badges is the aesthetic that we really want. Banners, badges, show all. So we're going to go ahead and get this one and drag it out. And now with the font, we're going to go ahead and just curve it a little bit. As you can see here on the right, they have all the text settings and they also have the text effect. Let's go ahead and text settings and we're going to play around with the transformation tools that they have. You can go with something more custom or you can just go around with the presets that they have that are really, really helpful. I like arc because it's the perfect sort of effect that we're going with. And as you can see here, it just works really well with the sort of graphic that we have. Now from here, we can start playing with the effects. We need one with the outline width. So let's go ahead with this one and let's bump this outline width. What's, what's this one called again? I kept forgetting the names. It's the third one. So let's go ahead and get that one and let's put the outline width to around 22. Let's go ahead and select this color for the outline width and let's make that black. And now for the text settings, we can go ahead and edit the colors. I like this musty green sort of effect. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's go, let's head over back to the effects panel and play with this text a bit more. Let's make this line a bit bigger than, oh, we could add an offset, could we? Is that? You know what? Let's keep the offset because it's working really well. Now for the badge itself, mm, no, actually, let's make this one black and let's make the inside and let's set this one to nothing also. Or we could set it to white. Next, we're going to go ahead and just add ourselves some text in again. And we're going to be like, we're going to make like a fake department sort of. So we're going to be like revision, art step. Let's just drag this out. And let's go ahead and make this into a circle using the transformation tool and make it a bit smaller so it can fit with within so it can fit within the actual graphic. I want to repeat this. There we go. Something like this. And let's go ahead and just align that. I love the alignment tools and align it with the rest of the font slash graphic. I want to add another sort of element towards the middle, some sort of graphic or element that stands out or looks like a college mascot. So they have vector styles and we can use the Kittle AI to sort of generate a vector style, or we can go ahead and just use the elements. Mm, we want something a bit more detail. Oh yeah, this is what we're, this is what we have. The revision art department. And then we're going to go ahead and select some sort of brushes. You know what? Let's add this star cause I want to use it later. We're definitely going to use that star later. Or we can search up art. We just need a sort of art element that we can add into the actual graphic. Let's add this little um, drama sort of graphic at the bottom here. And let's set this color to black. Okay. We're going to keep it like, mm, no, doesn't need those elements. See, this is the thing about design. You overcomplicate things and you end up going to the original idea. Let's go ahead and add in a circle. Add some border to it. And set that boy to black. Ooh, maybe let's do the opposite. So that, and then the line is black. Now, after seeing that reference point, I want to add another layer <laughs> towards this graphic and let's go ahead and drag this down. Duplicate and hold down like that. Oh, that boy is sick. No way they have mascots on there. Oh my gosh, they have mascots. This whole time I've been trying to make my own custom mascots. They have mascots on deck. Now these all might be a little bit too graphical in terms of what I'm looking for, 
but they have mascots, which is absolutely amazing. Oh, this is sick. Sorry, we're gonna switch that over to a, to a bulldog. Oh my gosh, that completely leveled up the graphic. That's amazing. That is amazing. And they have eagles, they have everything. These boys working overtime, damn. Now, once we're up to this stage, we're gonna go ahead and just add in a new headline where we're gonna add in our final piece of graphic, which is gonna be our numbers. And let's go ahead and line that boy up. Let's add some weight to this bad boy. Let's go ahead and add some weight to that. Set this to 20. Let's align this one more time. I have alignment anxiety. Center back. Let's go ahead and group everything. And we can see our graphic coming to life here. Once we turn off the background, let's go ahead and add some textures in. Let's add in the texture again. Don't release the texture and put on alpha mask. And that's once you put on alpha mask, it's going to cut out the graphic. Now you have a complete graphic ready for production slash print. Let's go ahead and mock that up. Just go ahead and download this mock up. And then we're going to go ahead and put print your design. And then from here, you can go ahead and check out your item. And now we wait. We have to basically wait four to seven days for the order to arrive here in Australia. I'm going to touch down with you guys once it arrives. So it took around four days for the product to get delivered. It's just got into my hands. And off the bat, I can tell you that the quality is fairly okay. Sizing wise, I got a 2XL because I knew these shirts fit small and it fits more like an extra large. Other than that, I would say it's a perfectly normal fitting shirt. Now to compare quality, I got this full cotton t-shirt that I designed for Culture Kings and we're going to be using that as a measurement or guide for the rest of the graphic. It is an extra large and this is a 2XL. So you can tell that obviously they fit around the traditional slim fit, I guess, garment. Due to efficiency, most print on demand services have smaller print sizes. I think the max I've seen is around 12 to 13 inches, which this one is measuring around 10 inches, which is perfectly fine and normal. It works well with all sorts of graphics, but me personally, I like the larger scale prints. Thus, when I'm making technicals for tees, I like to make them a minimum of 15 inches wide. It's around three inches away from the neck collar, which is perfectly centered on the chest, meaning that this t-shirt was printed perfectly. Other than that, um, I have no other complaints. Now, let's go over the final verdict. Would I recommend print on demand for your clothing brand? The answer is yes, especially if you're starting out and essentially you don't have the capital to run a full on clothing brand and you just want to test the waters, print on demand is the perfect solution. It's very efficient and it's very cost efficient to get samples. You could class this as a sample as opposed to the traditional print route where if you don't have a local print shop near you and you have to go overseas, you're looking around 200 to 120 USD where this cost me around $20 USD shipped, which is like 10% of the price, kind of insane, but that's just for comparison. Other than that, the t-shirt quality is fairly the same. They're both 100% cotton. The one from the Culture Kings design is a bit more thicker in terms of the actual feel, and it feels more rough, as this one has the traditional t-shirt feel where it's very soft, something that you would get from your local department store or local clothing brand. But other than that, Yes, I would recommend print on demand. Make sure you guys go check out the link in the description to check out Kittle today and print your next clothing brand. And thank you Kittle for sponsoring today's video.